Good morning, Xion Kun. Good morning, Nene chan. I'm Kawanaka Xion. I'm a first year student in Nanakuma Gakuen High School. And the cute girl walking next to me is my childhood friend, Okawa Nene chan. Uh, I drank a liter of milk yesterday. I haven't grown at all. Xion Kun, what's wrong? It's nothing. My complex is that I'm short. And being shorter than the girl I like hurts. I'll never be able to confess my feelings to Nene-chan like this. I'm happy to have been admitted to Nanakuma Gakuen, but commuting by train every morning is a bit depressing. I'll protect you, Nene-chan! Yeah, I'm counting on you. As I ride the crowded train every morning, I've noticed that the area near the door is the most crowded, and there's a little space if you go to the area where people sit. Nene-chan, over here! Yeah. Nene, hold on to the strap. Are you okay, Shion kun Yeah, I'm... I was about to say okay when... The train will stop suddenly. Please be careful. My body shakes violently as the train breaks suddenly. Whoa! My hand went forward reflexively, and to my surprise... Ah! Sorry! I was touching Nene-chan's breasts. Whoa! I've been trying to get closer to Nene-chan little by little, studying hard to get into the same high school as her, but my efforts are down the drain. The first time I met Nene-chan was when my mom took me to the Neighborhood Association's trash cleanup. Oh, Xion, there's a friend who's about Xion's age. Oh, really? Oh, hi. Have you moved here recently? Yes, we did. My name is Kawanaka. Nice to meet you. Come on, say hello, Xion. Um, Xion, two years old. How adorable! Come on, you too, Nene-chan. My name is Nene Okochi. I'm two years old. Cute. Oh my, girls are so mature. She's much taller than Xion, too. I wonder if she's grown up fast. Xion Kun, she's so tiny and cute. Uh, I, I want to be a big boy. My wish didn't come true. Line up. I was always in the front row when I was in elementary school. And Nene-chan... nene chan is too far away to see. She was tall and always in the back. Xion kun Uh, it's so embarrassing to be all the way at the front. I wanted to be next to Nene-chan. Then one day after school, when I entered junior high, a shocking event happened that cast a dark shadow over my heart. Oh, I forgot something in the classroom. I have to go back! Wait, I can hear people talking. Young Cody's so cool, isn't he? Wait, they're talking about me?! But too bad he's short. I know. That's none of your business! Hey, don't you think so too, Nene? What? Nene-chan was there too? Um, yeah. Nene-chan won't like me because I'm short after all. That night, I drank too much milk and got sick to my stomach and had to miss school the next day. I'm sure I'll grow taller when I'm in high school. 
I need to be able to be next to Nene Chan by then. Nene Chan! Oh, good morning, Xion Kun. Um, Nene Chan, have you decided which school you want to go to? It's not Akuma Academy. The uniforms are so cute. There are a lot of different events, and the percentage of students who go to higher education is high. So I thought it'd be nice. I see. I think I'll go to Nanakuma too. Really? I'd be so happy if I could go to the same high school as you. Yeah, I'll do my best! And when I'm taller than Nene-chan, I'll confess my feelings to her and live a happy boyfriend-girlfriend life! I, I can't believe you touched me like this. I'm so sorry! Forgive me. Well, what should I do? Is Nene-chan crying? Or is she trembling with anger? Shion-kun, can I talk to you after school? Yeah, I'll do anything I can do. Yeah. What should I do? Nene-chan's been looking down ever since. Well then, see you later. Y yeah that must be a shock. To have her breast touched by a guy she doesn't even like? Ugh. The heartbreak before I can even get to ask her out is the worst! I touched any chum's breasts with these hands. They were so soft. I didn't know that a girl's breast could feel so good. I mean, what am I thinking when I did such a terrible thing to Nene chan I'm so stupid! Kawanaka Shion, we get that you're stupid, so don't yell in class. Wow, I... I was yelling? I, I'm sorry! Uh, it's hard to meet Nene-chan face to face. Shion! Whoa! Sorry for scaring you. Let's go then. Y yeah. Nene chan took me to an empty classroom. Nene chan is gonna cut me off. It's like a death sentence for me. Please sit here, Kawanaka Shion kun. Yes. Well then, excuse me. Whoa! N nene Wh oh, What are you doing? You touched my breast this morning, didn't you? Y yes I did! I'm the culprit! Take responsibility. Well, what do you mean responsibility? Take responsibility for touching my breasts. Be my boyfriend. What? Are you sure? Because this isn't a punishment for me. I've never done anything like this before. Uh. Um, but I'm shorter than you, Nene-chan. Hmm, I know that. You wouldn't want that, right? What? How come? Because when I was in junior high, I happened to hear that Nene chan likes tall guys. What? I never said anything like that. But you were talking about it with the other girls. That you wished I was taller. Oh, that was because I didn't want you to be popular. Why? That day, I was having a lot of fun talking about our romance after school with my classmates. 
Nene, is there any boys that you like? What? I want to say Xiangkun, but I'm not sure if I should. You're good friends with Xiangkun, but are you just childhood friends with him? Um. Xiangkun is so cool, isn't he? No way! Could a chan like Xiangkun too? But too bad he's short. Hey, Xiangkun may be a little short, but he's really cool, cute, kind, and awesome! I know! Uh, if you were taller, I would definitely like him. What? If he was taller, Miu Chan would like him too? Hey, uh, don't you think so too, Nene? If I emphasize that Xian is cool, even if he's short, everyone would notice how good he is and start liking him. That's absolutely not allowed. Um, yeah. I should know how good Xiang Kun is. I won't let anyone have Xiang Kun. So I went along with what everyone said at the time. I'm sorry. I didn't know. What? That means Nene Chan liked me since junior high? I guess it's my fault Xiang Kun is worried about being short. I can't believe I heard Xiang Kun without knowing it. I wanted Nene-chan to like me. I decided to confess my feelings to you when I'm taller than you. I like Xiang Kun, who's kind, cool, cute, and cares about me. I don't mind how tall you are. I really like you. Thanks. Hey, Xiang Kun. You're not going to ask me out until you're taller than me. Won't you tell me you like me? I've been so focused on my height that I lost sight of what's important. I like you, Nene. I really like you. I'm so happy. Xiang Kun, if we sit like this, there's no difference in height. I guess so. I'll stop worrying about it. But Nene-chan, why did you approach me like that instead of just confessing? Uh, well, you looked like you were really sorry, even though it was just an accident that Xiangkun touched my breast. So I felt responsible for it, and I thought I could use that as an opportunity to go out with you. Even if you didn't do that, if Nene-chan confessed your feelings to me, I'd be so happy i say yes right away. Because I wanted Xiang Kun to confess your feelings to me first. The plan was to have you take responsibility and be my boyfriend, then get you to fall in love with me and have you ask me out. I see. Sorry, Nene Chan. I should have been honest and confessed right away instead of being so stubborn. Oh, it's okay. We were able to become a couple like this anyway. I'm happy to be in a relationship with you too, Nene-chan. I like you so much, Xiang-kun. I like you too, Nene-chan. Nene-chan, let's go! A year has passed since then. Soon after Nene-chan and I started dating, I had a long-awaited growth spurt. And in one year, I grew 15 centimeters. And my voice became much deeper. Hey, that guy is so cool. You're right. He's tall, his face is small, he's beautiful, and he looks like a model. Since I became taller, girls have been approaching me and confessing their feelings more often. Of course, my feelings haven't changed, but... Now that I'm taller than Nene-chan, I thought it was going to be a happy ending. Good morning, Xiankun. Nene Chan has also had a growth spurt, and she grew 15 centimeters in a year, and is still taller than me. Why? Xiankun, I'm sorry for not being shorter than you. I'm so sad. 
It's not your fault, Nene-chan. Besides, even if you're taller, you're still cute. Yeah, thanks. I love you, Shion-kun. I love you too, Nene-chan. Hey, you silly couple. Stop flirting from the morning and go to school. Ah, no, I'm sorry! Mom, don't interrupt my lovey-dovey time with Shion-kun. You say that, but you're going to flirt at school too, aren't you? <laughs> you caught me. Well, I'm off. G g goodbye Yep, I'll see you later. Shion-kun, take care of Nene, okay? Protect me on the crowded train today, too. It's gonna be fine. I'll protect you, Nene-chan! You could pretend you're off-balance and touch my breasts. What? I wouldn't do that! Oh, you want to touch it normally, then? Oh my god, Nene-chan! Oh, my boyfriend is too cute today, too! Every day I get pushed around by Nene-chan, but it makes me so happy. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye-bye!